Hello everyone. I am back with one more video covering the practicals of AI. My previous video was based on breadth first search technique on graph. If you have not seen the video, please go through it first. It contains detailed explanation of some concepts which I am going to use in this program too. Today I will be talking about how to implement depth limited search on graph using Python. As I have already mentioned in my first video, this program is a simplified version of the program given under Emma code. So let me start with depth limited search, which is a kind of modified version of traditional depth first search to save time of searching. I'll start with the construction of graph because to solve DLS, the first requirement is you should have a graph. The class graph contains the entire graph as dictionary represented by graph underscore dict variable and its type whether it's directed or not. For DLS, I'll pass only undirected graph. The init function has two parameters with default values. The graph class consists of a function called gate. The gate function works in two ways. If you pass only one argument representing node A, it will return the links or connections of that node as a dictionary. For example, for node Kurla, connections are Cyan and Chembur. If you pass two parameters, they will represent the source and destination node and the function will return the cost as mentioned in the dictionary. Okay, the next step is to construct a problem for which I declare a class called problem. The class problem has two variables, one to represent the initial state and one for the goal state. Goal test function at line number 32 checks whether a state passed as parameter is goal state or not. Path underscore cost function finds the cost by adding one in the existing cost represented by C to change from state 1 to state 2 using the action. Actions, result and value are like abstract functions, so I'll discuss about them when I'll actually implement them. Now let me add the next class which is graph problem. This class will be a subclass of problem. To initialize graph problem, there is init function in which I must provide initial and goal states. Check that they are initialized using init of its superclass problem. After that, I will initialize graph instance variable. Now the three abstract functions of problem class are to be overridden. Actions function returns the available actions means connections of nodes from a given node. For example, node A is key and its connections are represented using dictionary. Then this dictionary will be returned. Result function returns the action which is nothing but a destination node where you will reach. Path underscore cost function takes existing cost in the form of cost underscore so underscore far finds the cost of path between any node A to B using gate function and adds them. If there is no such path then it is considered as infinity. Infinity declared on the top is a special variable to represent a very large number. Great, so the code of graph problem and graph problem is ready. Now I'll add a class called node which will have functions to help in searching. Node class contains few instance variables and an init function to initialize them. State represents the name of node, parent represents parent node action represents what action generated this current node from parent node. Basically it will contain the name of the destination node. Path underscore cost represents total cost of path. Depth is 0 if there is no parent but increases by 1 if there is a parent. Next is REPR function which is like two string function. When you give node object variable to print function it will print the information in the specific format. The expand function is bit different 
actually it's working is same as BFS, but it is taking full advantage of Python programming constructs using which one can write three to four line program into one line. If you observe carefully, it is returning a list. The for loop gets every connection accessible from the current node. It then will be converted into node object using child underscore node function. To create object representation of connected nodes, child underscore node function helps. Basically what happens here is, if you are at a particular node A and from A the action tells that you can go to node B, then B, B will be returned as node object by this function. This is what is stored in next underscore state variable. New underscore cost will contain the cost to get to A and then additional cost incurred to get to B from A. Using this information of next underscore state and new underscore cost, an object of node can be formed and returned. There are two more functions in the same class, path and solution. Path function gives how you have reached to the present node. For example, if the connections are from A to B, B to C and C to D, you are at D. So path function on D will trace the path from D, C, B to A. Hence I have reversed the list while returning it so that it shows from A to D. Solution function is similar to path. Path function returns the list of node objects whereas solution function returns the state names as a list. Now comes the final part, adding the actual functions to perform depth limited search. You may want to go through the actual theory of the algorithm from the book. First, the actual recursive underscore DLS function. If the node that you pass as a parameter is a goal node, then the node has been found and it will be returned. As the name suggests, the DLS sets a limit on the depth. So I need a counter to check how many levels have been covered. The idea here is to use a down counter. If I start with level 3, then the level values will be decremented in the form of 3, 2, 1 and once it reaches 0, the recursive function will exit. Limit variable is used for that only. If limit reaches 0, then DLS will stop returning a message cutoff. You may wonder why limit variable is used as a parameter. The reason is every recursive function call shares its new value of limit to the next call. Now the last else part, I'll initialize a flag variable called cutoff underscore occurred initialize to the value false. The for loop gets each connection of current node in variable child and checks it recursively. If the function returns a value called cutoff, then cutoff underscore occurred flag variable is initialized to true. If result does not contain none and it's not cutoff either, then it must be the node or something else. At the end, by checking the value of cutoff underscore occurred flag, either value cutoff is returned or not found is returned. Hence, every time recursive underscore DLS function ends, it returns one of the three values, node, cutoff, or not found. Depth underscore limited underscore search function just helps to call recursive underscore DLS function for the first time. Iterative underscore deepening underscore search calls depth underscore limited underscore search repetitively with multiple values of levels. Now let me test the entire program. I am checking for two graphs, Romania and Mumbai. Check the output. All types of outputs are there, where node is found, not found or cutoff occurred. I hope that you must have followed the program. 
If you have followed the program, click on the like button or give any suggestions. Do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.